Hello, sweethearts and lovelies, and welcome to a accomplishment, a one credit clear of Street Fighter II The World Warrior Arcade Edition Default Difficulty, Chun-Li, the strongest woman in the world. Let's fucking go. This is a run. Uh, I've talked on this channel in the past of Let's Player's Curse, where when you're recording everything seems to go wrong. This is a case of Let's Player's Blessing. This run was so fucking clean at the beginning. Just look at that. I mean, Ryu is free. Ryu's the first fight. He's free. Just, you beat the shit out of him. But even so, as free as he is, it's kind of rare. Usually he does hit me back, but not this time, no. This is a, a double perfect on Ryu. You know. So, Jin Lee, you've got that basic move, you know. The jump kick into the medium punch into the high punch and that stuns him and then you do the throw and that's 70 percent of your health gone it's it's good you're not going to be able to do it on every foe like blanca for instance but you can do it so for blanca i kind of like uh this move the, the head stomp where you just jump in the air and do down and kick and you just pogo off the enemy's head either you hit him or they block and it pogs you away and that was another just mm, spectacular fucking round where I just rinsed him. We're not gonna all perfect no rounds lost to this shit. But still, that's an accomplishment. So he's trying to shock me there. It's fine. <laughs> so there you go. He's got the amazing uh, flip here. But we took a little damage and that demonstrated a little something. You see that punch? It sort of just ignored my punch and went right through me. Yeah, uh, this is an arcade game designed to take your quarters. It cheats. It cheats heavily. But there are ways to deal with that cheating, as we'll get to. So Zangief, you'd think I'd be scared because, you know, grabbing in this game is very, very bad. But Zangief, he's pretty free. In fact, I grabbed him. He's got one, uh, Busted move. His low kick is another one of those cheating moves that like comes out on frame one and has no invulnerability. But if you do it, oh, you're gonna get punished. You know, you know how it goes with these old games, old arcade games, fighting games especially. Just cheat. There, there. You see, that's that's the kick in question. But it's, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> he did it again, even. But fuck him. So Guile is next. And Guile is usually where these runs go to die, because Guile in this is a rat bastard cheating bitch. <laughs> yeah, so he's bastard bitch in the same sentence. Just just get the lightning kick and mash on this car. Uh, Guile is a charged character. He's one of the best characters in this I'd say he's probably the best character in this game if you're, like, going by the meta. But, you know, he's a charged character. But the computer doesn't need to charge. The computer can just throw out these ultra-powerful moves, these sonic moves and flash kicks, whenever it fucking wants. Usually within one frame of you pressing the attack button, you know. Beep, 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 attack detected, must punish. It's par for the course in these fighting games. So we're going to see how this up-to-now pretty great run has gone against Gaia. And spoilers, uh, I kicked the shit out of him. Which is wild, because I don't get to actually show the strategy I developed for fighting Guile. I just sort of... But it does involve that head stomp. I usually do that and block. And I do it in such a way where... He's always going to try to punch me with a flash kick. But if he whiffs the flash kick, if he goes the wrong way in the flash kick, I can very quickly get in the air and air throw him. That, that's, that's what I'm trying to do here. But instead, I'm getting over him and I'm actually getting grounded throws... And, well, I just perfected Guile in round two, and he's done. He's done. I don't get to show where the pain in the ass he is, but, I mean, I, I fucking kicked his ass. Like, what do you want? I'm not going to throw away that run. Dalsin is uh, not entirely free because, you know, he's got the range and he can be a real bastard. Especially with that grab where he just hits you over the head repeatedly. And it's the CPU, so it's like pressing the button 60 frames a second, but... Another, another perfect, another perfect! <laughs> Holy shit! You see what I mean when I said this is LPR's blessing? This run is just... Legitimately one of the best fucking attempts I've had at this. And this isn't even getting to... And I swear to God, this is true. I, I am not bullshitting you here to try and make myself look good. I mean... But... 
This is the first time I attempted this to record this. I literally hooked up the switch to the, to the Elgato thing, hit record, and said, "Okay, well, we'll make a couple of attempts this morning and see what we can do." And this was the first one. This, this, this is it. I got the run in one. I got the run in one. E Honda. Absolutely free. A absolutely free. We can just do the same thing we did to Ryu against him. Kick, punch, punch, stun, throw, and then we can go in and do it again. And just... Whammo! It... I will say, if you're playing the Capcom Arcade Stadium, and you try this on Street Fighter 2 Turbo, uh, the first opponent of Z Honda, and he just kicks your ass. He just kicks your ass, you know. Beep boop, game is fast as shit, a button press detected, block, counter everything, it's... Nasty. It's it's fucking nasty, but oh my god, we got it twice. Holy shit! This is strongest woman in the world, y'all. Strongest woman in the world. I'm not even that good at fighting games. I just I just learned this. I mean, well, it's it's CPU bullshit, but it's just, which is a very different skill, I should say, from fighting a, a human being. Because it's all about outsmarting the machine and learning how do they work and what you can exploit against them. Because you can't read them like you can a human. Because they've got frame-perfect bullshit to counter everything you do. So you got you got to find the exploits. And you'll see some fun exploits later in this run, but for now we're going to punch barrels, because why the fuck not? Why the fuck not? 18 out of 20? I, I very rarely get perfect on that minigame. So, can. Ken is kind of like Guile in that you want to bait him into doing an anti-air move. In this case, sure you can. But, uh, I'm not doing that well against that, am I? Oh, yeah, that's, uh... Okay, we got it's there. That's, that's, base, that's the basic idea, but, uh... That's not good. That's a round lost. So, shit. Now I've got to beat Ken flawlessly. If I fuck up again, the run is done. So what am I going to do? Wait for that Shoryuken heavy punch. And, well, he went for the frame one low punt, low kick. That's, uh, you know, that's okay. Just to, you know, kick back and see what he's doing. Get a few uh, good kicks in. Goes for that Shoryuken again. Okay. And here's something. Here's something. Did you notice Ken's health there? How the tick barely went down. That kick should have should have killed him. Should have done enough damage, but it didn't. That's another bit of cheating on this game's part. It's called the "fuck you, hit me one more time" thing, where when you've got him down to a little sliver of health, it's still gonna be a three-hit KO because you're like, "fuck you, hit me again, give me another chance to uh, perfectly counter you, put in another quarter, motherfucker." And it drives me fucking batty. Well, watch his health here. Let's see. Okay, well in that case, in that case it didn't. But I swear to God. I swear to God, if you go back and look at some of the health values, it, the game does this. I swear. So that's all the main fighters down. It's World Warriors, so you don't have to fight yourself. But now we're on the uh, big four. So we're starting with Balrog, M. Bison, whatever the hell you want to call him. And the idea here is be aggro, be aggressive, because you don't want to give this guy any space. So just try and get the knockdown, the throw, and deal with him. And I just... I mix it up a bit with some head stomps, but trying to get in there. Yeah, okay. And there's some cute girls in the background in Las Vegas because that's just something that happens in Vegas, I guess. I don't know. What happens in Vegas stays in Vegas, like me beating the shit out of this boxer man here. But, you know, he's got a little bite. I had some attempts last night where I swear to God he was putting that uppercut out frame one and it made me yell at the TV, you know, Ah, frame one bullshit! Yeah, but. He's, uh, whew, he's getting a little, he's getting a little antsy. I'm getting a little antsy, but that's that's a clear. That's a clear. I'm feeling really good, but next we have uh, one of the toughest fights in the game. Raniac, if you're listening, I know you're very pleased. This is his main. We played way back in the day. Vega is a fucking nightmare. I hate Vega. <laughs> that being said, I still managed to get the bullshit on Vega, which is very rare. It's a rare occurrence that happens. But, you know, I got him down pretty low, but you can you can fight back. Look at that! Just a couple just a couple of hits, and he took out like seventy five percent of my life bar. That's wild, seventy seven five percent. But I got him there. I got him there. 
So that's great, you know, I only have to win one more. The next round goes absolutely disastrous. <laughs> one kick, two kick, three kick, four kick, five kick, just, just six hits. <laughs> I actually hit him back, so he didn't perfect me. So that's that's a small moral victory, but I just I just got fucking rocked. Oh my god. The run can't end here. Come on. Come on, you matador fighting claw piece of shit. Oh, that's good. That's what we want to see. Watch that health bar. Oh, never mind. Fucking, I got the throws. And some of the throws are somehow immune to this. So it's, it's, it's good anyway because the throws are great. So, two fights left. Uh, well, first we got to punch these barrels. This actually, this isn't in the... I used to play Super Street Fighter 2. Rent that. And uh, this was replaced by uh, a brick hitting game. And I swapped it with the uh, barrel thing. So the barrel thing's last and then it's the brick kicking game. But I don't know. Whatever. That's free. It's, it's just a simple little thing for more points because, you know, arcade game, high school. So Saga, you can either kick your ass or you can kick the shit out of him. We're going to try the thing, and I do a throw. Sometimes he blocks. You want to try, like Ken, you, you bait him with the head stomp for a tiger uppercut, and then you counter him. And that's a clean fucking fight with Saga. We got two chances to get another one of those. And then we're on to the final fight. <laughs> Which may have its own concerns. So round two. Mm, we're going to have a bit of an issue here. Let's, uh... Yeah, he uh, got me with the tiger uppercut. And then the tiger wave, which... Yeah. And then I hit the kick button too fast. I did the goddamn lightning kick. And he got me with the low. Shit. That sucked, but it was close. So, what are we gonna do here? Same shit! Oh, 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 look at that! Look at that! Holy shit! Oh, we're in. We're in. At this point, that's it. Because, well, I've been telling you the computer's a cheap bastard. Piece of shit. And Bison, much the same. So you know what? As anticlimactic as it's gonna be, I'm gonna cheat too, motherfucker! Check this shit out! Now, if you tried this against an actual human at the arcade, you might get actually punched in the mouth, but I don't think you would because, you know, an actual human in the arcade would be able to, you know, deal with this shit. <laughs> Just jumping in the corner. The computer, for all its button reading, frame perfect, invulnerable bullshit, cannot handle. Jump in the air and jump kick in the corner. It's astounding. Now, I know some other one credit people actually fight this guy and, you know, do that shit. I ain't about that life. I ain't about that stress. All power to him. This game has been cheating me for ages in trying to get this godforsaken run. And by God, I'm gonna cheat back. I don't care. I'm gonna get him. I, I mean, there's people who can play Ken who can do all that cool shit. People who play Guile who do even greater bullshit, but I'm the strongest woman in the world, baby! For you, the day you, you fucked around with frames was the most important day of your life! But for me, it was Tuesday, motherfucker! That's a clear. That's a clear. <laughs> 945, 400. Just shy of the mill, but that's okay. So here's the ending. So that's it. We did it. Street Fighter 2, The World Warrior, default difficulty, one credit clear with Chun Li. Sit down. It's beautiful. It's wonderful. And I'm very glad to have gotten it. I've been working on this for a while, but you know, it's good to have it in video form, even if, you know, I mean, some of the strats are a little cheesy, of course, and it's default difficulty, not max difficulty, but you know, I'm going to take my victories where I can. This is an accomplishment. I accomplished this. And I feel good. And now we can enjoy the life of a young single girl. Yeah. Because that's that's our reward. That's our reward. And, and then since we uh, beat the game on one quarter, one credit, we get the actual credits. So, we get to watch this. Yeah, Blanca can do that shit, especially in the Turbo. And, uh... 
Super Turbo is on this one with Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo? Yeah. So the Capcom Arcade Stadium is pretty fun. You get lots of good games on that thing. I mean, it's got Ghosts and Goblins and Ghouls and Ghosts. And they're pretty solid. It's got a lot of shooters. It's got some other fun shoot. It's a, it's a good compilation for the Switch, so definitely, definitely check that shit out. It's fun. But this is, uh, this is the end of this. <laughs> so we're just going to watch uh, the computer beat the shit out of itself because, you know, why not? Do a throw, Zangief. Do, do a fucking throw. Okay, okay, that, that spinning thing is pretty good too. I think you, like, mash the punch buttons to do that. I, I don't play Zangief. I, I don't play the grapplers. Like, I tried learning Potemkin in Guilty Gear Strive. That, that shit is beyond me. You know for life, man. You know for life, but... I'm gonna say goodnight to you, or good day, or good evening, wherever, wherever the heck you are, what time, whatever time it is. Have a good one. Thank you for watching me uh, beat the hell out of the Super uh, the Street Fighter 2 The World Warrior. And uh, until next time, kids, bye for now.